What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And in today's video, I'll show you how to install the latest Android 16 on any Android phone using the all new Breeze OS ROM. And this is my old Galaxy A30, and it's currently running on the Galaxy S23 port based on Android 14 One UI 6. For this process, you need the GSI ROM file, which contains the main system image. It should be extracted as an image. Also, make sure TWRP recovery is already installed on your phone model. All right, so let's get into it. Here, I'll simply power off this phone. Now press and hold the volume up and power key to boot into recovery. All right. Now first select backup. Here, back up the EFS data. Now select install. I'll connect the USB drive. I've already copied the files to it, or you can even use an SD card. So here there's a new kernel update available for my Galaxy device to support the latest Android 16 and also One UI 7. This is optional for others. All right, now go back to home. Then select wipe, advanced wipe. Here, select Dalvik, cache, and system. With GSI ROM, you can directly flash the system image in this part. All right, now go to install. Select the path where you copied the image ROM file. Select install image, then select the system image. Now choose the system partition to flash this image. The boot, vendor, product, and other partitions will remain the same. They work on your existing installed ROM. I mean the Galaxy S23 port, which I have installed as the base. All right, the system image is successfully installed. Now go back and reboot the system. Now, as this phone is already too old in terms of hardware, you can't expect much from it in the future. Let's see if it holds up or not, but I'll continue doing more ROM tests on this phone. You've already seen in my videos, this is the Galaxy S21, the hottest Snapdragon version. Still good in performance, great for winters, and also for custom ROMs, GSIs, and stuff. Now it's running on Android 15 based on One UI 7. Still, it will get one more major upgrade next year. So anyways, all right, it starts to boot. And there we go. It successfully booted up. We're on the home screen. It feels a bit smooth this time. You can see the quick settings and notification panel got a new visual look with a glassy transparent overlay. When you hit the edit button, you can add more toggles. These are resizable and arranged in order. Now let's go to settings. Here also the settings app got updated. Let's go to about device. And there we go. We're running on the latest Android 16 with the latest security patch. And it still kind of feels good, even on this old device with seven-year-old hardware. Well, it's still at 60 hertzes, and all other remaining things are the same as usual. Everything is working, like network and internet, connected devices like Bluetooth. It's working. Still, I don't recommend this for regular use. There are still some bugs, as it's GSI-based. Sound is working. In-device storage. Almost 9 gigs is used by the system. Let's go to battery. And here, there's an option for charging optimization, which limits charging to 80%. Battery manager looks the same as before. And if you go to system, you'll see some extra additional features, like we've seen in our recent custom ROM videos, similar to Samsung or Xiaomi features. So, because it's a GSI ROM, yes, you can install it on other devices too. But make sure your device supports Dynamic System Partition DSU. And I forgot to mention, you can also see the new status bar icons, including the updated battery icon on top. And most of the UI elements got visually changed. And yep, that's pretty much it. Android 16 is now running on this old device. Looks fresh, runs decently, but yeah. It's smooth, visually refreshed, and most features are working. But since it's a GSI build, there might be a few bugs here and there. It's not ideal for everyday use, but perfect if you love testing the latest Android builds. If this video helped you out, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.